It's so hard to control all these Marios. Did they die? What was that? What? Why? Why did they die? I don't much care for that at all. I was to say, I know there's a hidden one around here somewhere. Okay. I was about to get sad. I was like, no, do I have to do this level again? I don't want to do this level again. Yeah. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Nuke, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. We've got three levels left in World 2 before the castle. We're going to start with the Mystery House. Now, there's one of these in most worlds. And the way these work... Because there's a little challenge in every room, and you got 10 seconds to get to do the challenge and get the star. It's pretty, pretty straightforward most of the time. But if you don't, uh, if you fail to get the star, though, it sends you back to the beginning and do the whole thing over again. You keep any green stars that you get, regardless of whether or not you fail it. But you just have to do the whole thing over again, which is kind of annoying. I get it, though. Part of the challenge. Oh, no, not the fire bros. Get out of here. They, they like to use fire bros a lot more than hammer bros or boomerang bros in this game. And, like, they're not more threatening. They're just not. Me, personally, I find the boomerang bros in the 3D game to be a little more threatening. But that's just me. In, 2D, in a 2D setting, it's definitely going to be the hammer brothers. Oh, one of the easiest blockades ever. I guess if you don't have a cat suit. No, I can still just jump on his head. <laughs> Piece of cake, nothing to it. Why are you counting up my score for this? Who, who cares? <laughs> Now that poor guy just has to sit there all dazed and confused for the rest of his existence. Kinda of sad. Oh, this level. This level's definitely interesting, because it introduces a new power-up that's... If you have a fire flower, it's super nice, so it's the double cherry. It adds one of whatever character that picks it up. I got two Marios now. It's one of those situations where it doesn't really matter which one's the real Mario, because one of them will just disappear if I take damage. Yeah, if you get a fire flower though, you just start throwing fireballs all over the place, which is pretty cool. You gotta be careful, because it is very easy to uh, lose control of <laughs> controlling your squad. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll take the Fire Flyer. I was, I was gonna contemplate it for a second, but, uh, I guess that ship has sailed. <laughs> like, do I need a Fire Flyer, or do I want to keep my, uh, my, my bell? Like, well... Ah! So as you just saw, I, uh, didn't lose my Fire Flyer, I just lost a Mario. And this is one of those puzzles right there that's... Doable with two players, you don't need a double cherry for that. If you have four players, I don't think you need double cherries in this level at all. There are certain collectibles that do require double cherries in this level. I just lost my second Mario, which is not good. I'm probably going to end up having to do this level again. <laughs> what are these things? They look like Luigi's Mansion enemies almost. Get out of here. They're weird. Uh, I don't think I can get this. The stamp is up here. I don't think I can get it, though. No, not quite. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna restart this level. <laughs> I've already kind of botched it. Up here. There we go. You know, I had this thought 
the other day. I was, I was playing this, and I was like, yeah, that's Cat Mario. That's what this power-up is. It's Cat Mario. And I remember back in my day, there was a, a sort of ROM hack of Super Mario on the internet that someone made. A rather infamous one called Cat Mario. And it was uh, just stupidly unfair hard. <laughs> I was like, oh, how far we've come. From just a ROM hack called Cat Mario to an actual Cat Mario. Anybody out there watching this remember Cat Mario? That was a long time ago, though. Like, 10 plus years. I remember I saw Markiplier play it once, and I was like, what? Such is the influence Cat Mario has had on the YouTube space. But, you know, again, this was many years ago. Wow, really? No, it's fine. It's fine. We found the freebie. Oh, okay. There were a lot of cherries left. Maybe I didn't need to restart at all. Whoops. Ah, we got it. I know I need at least four four Mario. Well, no, I need I need four Mario's to do the uh, the last green star. It's so hard to control all these Marios. Did they die? What was that? What? Why? Why did they die? I don't much care for that at all. Wait. I was going to say, I know there's a hidden one around here somewhere. Okay. I was about to get sad. I was like, no, do I have to do this level again? I don't want to do this level again. Another one now. That level is definitely one of those... If you have a party of four, you just don't have to deal with the cherries. I can't imagine playing through this game with four people. It's gotta be... chaos. <laughs> There's Bullet Bill Brigade. Oh, one of these. Cool. Another Fire Flower. I don't want another Fire Flower. I've decided I want to keep Super Bell on me. Oh, give me a fire flower. I was like, did it not give me anything? The cannon's in an interesting item because it can pick up coins and stuff when you shoot them. If you hold down the run button, it'll charge up. But if you have another player, you can hurt your other players with it, so you gotta be careful. So I'm sorry if my voice is a little quiet right now. It's rather late at night, and I gotta be a little bit more low energy. I didn't want to not record today. That thing, yep. Oh, stamp. Nice, nice. Boom. Ah. Hoping that would get all of them, but I don't think the explosion gets big enough for that. And if you keep the cannon throughout the whole level, you can destroy that wood barrier and get the last star. Easier said than done sometimes. I know there's another one of those battalion levels in a, in a later castle that's got the same keep the power up through the whole through the whole deal. 
Wait, can I hit boom boom with this thing? I've never actually tried. So coded to jump in on his head. Let's see if I can actually hurt him with it. Okay, he gotta stop spinning though, but it's it's easier to just jump on his head. Ah! Get out of here, you. Cool. Don't worry, friendo, I got you. Claw my way up here. All right. figured out what uh, sets off the fireworks though. Is it time? Is it score? Is it both? Who's to say really? Okay, and that should finish off all of World 2. Yes, okay, build that pipeway to World 3. See, the, I see the ice land off there in the distance. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let me check my star lists, or course list, or whatever. Let's see, everything, first two worlds seems to be gotten, unless I'm blind, which is a very high probability, but I think we got it all. Ah, no, I don't want to do that, thank you. <laughs> Never want to do that. If I ever actively search out online play for anything, call the police, because <laughs> that's not something I do. Alright, World 3, the Ice World. No, one thing I've noticed about this game is it'll have like a theme where like, this is the Ice World. I think this is the only Ice level in the Ice World. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think it is. Which is, uh, kind of weird. But, anyway, that's going to be an issue for next time, though. Nope. We'll go ahead it's been it's been long enough to go ahead and call this an episode thank you everybody so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like let me know comment let me know what you're thinking about this game so far make sure you subscribe for more of this game coming your way very soon thank you all again so much for watching i will see you all in the next episode